Namaste. I'm Archana. Thank you for joining me for day 27. In today's session, we will be working on balance. So we'll begin this by sitting in a comfortable seated position, keeping our back straight and closing our eyes. You can rest your palms on your thighs or just stacking one palm over the other. Bring your attention to your ears. Listening for the sounds that are coming from outside the room. Now slowly shift your attention to the sounds that are coming from inside the room. Take a deep breath in. Now completely breathe out. Now as you breathe in, bring all your awareness to your abdomen, trying to push the belly forward. And as you breathe out, pull your navel back towards the spine, pushing all the air out through the nostril. One more breath in. And exhale. Now slowly open your eyes with a few blinks. Now as you breathe in, reach your hands up all the way towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, bring your arms in line with your shoulder. Now breathe in. Just tilt to the right side, trying to bring your fingertips towards the mat. Again, come back to center. See that you're not changing the position of your neck. Your neck is in neutral. Come, inhale up and drop to the other side. Back to center Then stretch your fingertips towards the side. Notice if you can feel some warmth in your arms. Again, breathe out. Just play with this and as you breathe, in all the way to the other side. Start breathing out. You can breathe out through your mouth. And one, one last time. It's like a seesaw motion. Come back and the other side. Back to center. Release your hands, drop your palms to the mat. From here, we're going to come on to our palms and knees. Bend your elbows slightly to the outside of the room. Drop your waist and slowly come all the way up. Gaze forward, chin and chest is forward. As you breathe out, pull your navel in tailbone towards the face between your knees. Let's go again, breath in, all the way forward, and one last time round your back. Come back to neutral position. Here, I'm going to just bring my right hand forward, followed by my left leg, heel in line with my hip. Now slowly bend, trying to bring the front of your left thigh parallel to the mat. With your right hand, if you can, grab your toe. Your gaze can be forward. Notice how you feel in your knee. You may want to keep your right foot flat. You tie your pose, breathe in and release. Release your hand round and stretch. Breathe in, arch your back, breathe out. Notice how that feels in the small of your back. Going to the other side, this time. Left hand straight, kick your right leg out. You can stay here. 
For the first one, trying to keep your back neutral. Breathe for one and exhale. Now grab and breathe. Two and one. Release. Round your back. Sit back. Toes are engaged. Hips towards your heel. Press into your heel. Feeling a nice stretch in your foot. Breathe in. And breathe out. Press into the mat. Lift your knees up. Pull your navel in. I'm going to simply step my right leg between my palms. Adjust my back leg. Bringing my left hand to my right foot. Twisting into your Paritritta Trikonasana. Breathing in, reaching your fingertips towards the ceiling. Pressing both your feet into the mat. Gaze up at your fingertips. Breathe out. Press and now Trikonasana. Triangle pose. Two. And back. Step your left leg back. Did I say back? <laughs> Excuse me. Step your leg back and shake it out. This time, step your left leg between your palms. Adjust the back leg. I'm pointing my toes to the long end of my mat. Your first Paridrutta Trikonasana. Right hand can be just next on the inside of your foot or on your foot. See what works for you. And twist. Two. Again, pressing your feet, straightening your knee, noticing the stretch. Hand back. Drop your hand either on the foot or inside or outside of your foot. Twist to your triangle pose. Two. Opening your shoulders. Forward, shoulders stacked one over the other, fingers towards the ceiling. Come back. Step back. Legs are nice and wide. This time, one nice deep stretch into your downward dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, slowly walk your palms and your feet. Another, letting your whole spine decompress. Knees can be bent. You can sway side to side, breathing in, breathing out from here. If you're going to slowly roll up, roll up, come all the way up. Tadasana. So you can step forward, breathe out, back into your chair. Utkatasana. Bring your hands to prayer. This time I'm going to twist again. Hook my left elbow on the outside of my right. Stack and twist. Breathe in. Back to your chair pose. If it's too much for your leg, you can always come up. You'll start noticing the heat in your thigh. Now the other side. Pressing hold. Two. And one, release, breathe in, reach up, all the way up, release your hand. From here, we're going to do our next balance. Bend your knee so that your leg is pointing or is parallel to the mat, like you would play hop skip. Keep looking at a point on the floor. Now, if you can further see if you can grab your toes. Stay here, breathe in, breathe out. Now as you breathe in, raise your right hand up towards the ceiling. Keep looking at a point on the floor or at a point on the wall, something that's stationary. Trying to bring your heel towards your hip. It need not touch. 
Now I'm just going to lean forward. You can adopt chin mudra in your hand or simply keep it straight. This is your first part of your balance. Once you get steady here, kick your leg out all this way. Stay here. It's totally fine for you to lose balance. Hold and stretch. Release. Come down. Shake your legs out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more big breath in. Reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale. If your breath is gotten choppy, slowly just coordinating your hand with your breath, your hand movements with your breath. Now from there, I'm going to shift all my weight onto my right leg. Press all the corners of my feet into the mat. If possible, grab my toe, ankle, just the seam of your track pant, anything is fine. Keep breathing in, reach your hands up towards the ceiling. From here, adopt chin mudra. Keep looking at the point and lean forward. Stay here. It just gets harder to talk and do. Now, if this is all, this is totally fine. Eventually, you can kick your leg out and reach. Two and one. Slowly release the leg. She can feel a lot of heat in the leg. It's balancing. Breathe in. Reach up. Breathe out. We're going into one last stretch here. Shake the legs out if you have to. Come to lie on your back. Spin me on your belly. As you breathe in, bring your elbows beneath your shoulder. I'm going to again, one nice stretch in my quads. Bend. Grab your feet and simply press. Your left hand can simply stay here or place the palm where your your left palm where the right elbow was stretch so you're not going to arch your back no compression at the lower back we're focusing more on getting a nice stretch in the front of our thigh good quad stretch here two and one release now the other side two Lie down, hug your knees to your chest, straightening both your legs out. Interlace your fingers, stretch your toes away from you, your interlaced fingers towards the wall behind you. Nice big body stretch and release, bend your right leg. Trying to bring your heel as close to your left thigh towards your groin and then just drop it down. Soup the Vrikshasana. Open your palms. Two long breaths. Noticing your belly move up. And exhale. One more breath in. Two. 
change legs. Hands can continue to stay there, eyes remain closed. Supta Vrikshasana on the other side. Wings your leg. Arms stay open. Close your eyes. We'll end the session by chanting one round of Om. I hope you had a good practice. I'll see you tomorrow for day 28. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Namaste.